scrappy people, it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a quick seven minute process video on how I created a two page traveler's notebook spread out of one photo and added some word art to it. And I actually mess up in the beginning changing my crop size to eight and a half inches tall by four or 8.25 inches wide. So this is actually a much shorter tutorial, but I left in the mistake so you could see me um, adjusting the width, height, resolution crop settings up here at the top. So um, right now I have it at 8.25 by 8.5, but it actually needs to be 8.5 by 8.25 because the height of a traveler's notebook is 8.25 inches and the width is 4.25 inches um, and you need that times two. So um, you need to have it at um, 8.5 wide to adjust for the two pages. So you can see me figuring out right now that I uh, cropped it wrong. So I'm going to go back and fix it by just hitting Command or Control Z to go back um, and re um, crop it to 8.5 by 8.25. And now this layout, I want um, a big space in the middle and I want the kids to be pretty close to the edges of each side of the Traveler's Notebook spread. So that is how I am cropping this. And then I'm going to turn on my grid so that I can pull a guideline from the rulers to the exact middle of the page, which is of course 4.25 inches, so that I can, when I place my journaling and my title, I can make sure I clear that center. So I'm gonna use this word art by Paisley Press. It is free on her website and you can access it um, and all of the rest of the COVID-19 freebies that I rounded up via the link in the description box below. And I'm just gonna use my rectangular marquee tool and draw a box around all of the pieces of this distancing word so that I can um, click and drag it with my cursor key over to the other side of the page because I want um, the words to be across from each other and not stacked up on top of each other. So I'm just um, drawing a marquee around the social part and doing the same thing, moving it. I need to make sure that I have a quarter inch in the middle to account for the holes that I'm going to put in my traveler's notebook spread. So I'm kind of just placing these where I want them to go and then I need to move them a quarter of a, an inch away from the inside line. So I'm going to turn on my grid here in a second just to make sure that um, they are far enough away. But I want them to be, you know, lined up and even in the center of my um, layout. So I also want them to be right underneath the kids. I think about maybe moving them up here in a second and turning them white to put the words on top of the kids, but um, I, don't, I don't like it. You'll see. <laughs> you can see me moving it up. Then I add a white color overlay. Um, but this doesn't make me as happy as having it underneath the kids. It just looks weird and floaty, whereas if it's under the kids, it looks like they're standing on it almost, and so that looks a little bit better to me. So I'm going to double check that this is where I want it to be, and then I'm going to add in my text. And um, I actually have to turn off my screen recording when I add in my text because um, if I try and type while I'm screen recording, it freezes up my whole computer and resets. So what I'm going to do um, is draw a text box and you just go to your horizontal type tool and click and drag to draw a box. And I'm going to click and drag to draw it right um, between where distancing starts and the tail on the G ends. And I'm just gonna turn it back on so that you can see here. Um, I did that off camera, of course. And of course, you cannot see the writing very well, so I'm gonna add some digital vellum behind the journaling. So I just drew a white box with my shape tool, and I'm adjusting the opacity until it's still readable, but nice and see-through as well, and that was 50%. 50% opacity means 50% see-through. You can just hit a number on the keyboard key while you have something selected and it will adjust the opacity. So I just hit, you know, seven, six, five until I liked it. 
And now this is already ready already to print. So all I'm going to do now is change my canvas size to eight and a half by 11 because this is eight and a half inches wide by um, 8.25 inches tall. It'll fit on an eight and a half by 11 canvas perfectly to print. And then I can just hit command P on my printer and or on my keyboard and it will go to my print dialog box. And I printed this on glossy photo paper. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit to it off, um, on camera, so we're going to switch over to that. So I have just printed this just as is and put it in my rings. Super easy and I really feel like this doesn't need much, but eh, it needs something because I can never just, you know, do nothing. So I'm going to put a couple of chipboard pieces from Allie Edwards. This one is from the Seasons Collection. I'm not sure what this one's from. <laughs> it says Create Balance. And this one says the season is not simple. And I think that that gives a nice little three-point um, embellishment triangle here. And it doesn't detract from or deflect from what I'm trying to say or the visual impact that I'm trying to create. So that is all I'm going to do for this spread. Super easy. I hope that um, you got something out of the tutorial and that it was easy for you to understand. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.